should probably just give one of my fishes as a, uh, as a gift. What about the Out of Bounds room? That was pretty good. That was a fun find. I'm looking forward to Divinity Original Sin 3. Which, like, at that point, I think they need to lose the original part. Just call it Divinity Sin 3. But I'll probably just do that with Shell or something. Trying to do any of the Divinity games with, like, more than, uh, two people is just too much. Trying to wrangle people for that long and maintaining enthusiasm is awful. Uh, I should be pretty obvious for people that I've pretty much stepped away from doing multiplayer for a, a long time. And it's actually been so nice not having to manage other people. Personalities, likes, differences, personality problems, stuff like that. Like, I don't know, I was talking to my YouTube manager about this, and he was like, you know, do you ever step back? And I'm like, well, I don't interact with people that much anymore, which probably sounds worse, but like, you know, throughout Catterday and all of my- oh, damn it. Throughout Catterday and all of my other, like, groups I've ever done, I always kind of put myself in the position of, uh, organization, and I think that's kind of a mistake. Not a huge mistake, but it's one of those where, like, yeah, no one else ever does it, so I'm the only one that does, and, uh, it was a lot of work. Like, I could I could do D&D, &D, but, like, organizing D&D &D in every other session and making sure everybody had enough games and stuff, that actually, like, it takes a lot out of you, and I'm a really busy dude, and so it's actually been really nice not having to do that. You know, the worst I have to wrangle is Shell. Which mainly I just have to make sure she's eaten beforehand. Or slept enough. A lot easier than playing telephone with people. I still get kind of mad. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys remember our uh, Space space Engineers streams, series, whatever. Uh, but that was one of those that I was actually... I rather enjoyed. Uh, I think it was like, I went to the bathroom before we got started for the night. And more or less came back and everybody's like, yeah, we don't want to play this game anymore. I'm like, you could have told me before we started this up. YouTube manager. Yeah, if you get big enough on YouTube, they partner you with, uh, with an employee that works at, uh, YouTube to more or less go over, uh, you know, your, your strategies, your thoughts about things. He actually mostly asks me how the hell I do what I do. And then I kind of, like, try and explain how it works, because, like, nobody else puts out videos as much as I do. And so he has, like, a number of channels that, for example, got really big on Fallout or Destiny or whatever, and they're, like, trying to diversify and having trouble with it. And I have a lot of... Uh... I have a lot of information on how to avoid that to some degree that's probably not that helpful. Usually by the point when you're trying to drag yourself out of that pit, it's too late. I like the big fish. They're worth a lot of money, but they, uh... They're definitely a lot harder to catch than those golden... golden whatever. Salmon? Let's see, GDQ recently put out more videos than you do. Well, I mean, that's... that's GDQ. That's like an organization. They actually make money from those. Let's see, so I've been eyeballing this. How is it, Wander? It's everything I wanted in Stardew Valley. Honestly, because I didn't want any of the dating sims. And, like, truly I didn't care too much about the townsfolk or their problems. Uh, especially because their town- uh, the townsfolk's problems generally weren't that interesting to me. I mean, they kind of were. Uh, but I- I prefer more- like, a more interesting world. Uh, and some more, like, interesting things to do in the world. And, like, I'm not gonna say that this is a better fishing system than... Uh... Than Stardew Valley, necessarily. But, it feels better to me. 
I got really sick of the fishing system in Stardew Valley. But I also realized that that's an incredibly controversial position, and I think a lot of people would probably disagree with me on that one heavily. But I mainly just played Stardew Valley because it was a really chill game to play back in the day. Oh yeah, somebody was asking if I'm going to be playing Astroneer when it uh, comes out 1.0. Yep, not only that, but they're sending me a goodie backpack. Like, literally a backpack. I don't entirely know what it's going to look like, uh, but I would not mind, like, a, a little backpack of of neat things from the developers of Astroneer to show off before I restart my series. Uh, I might actually reach out. Uh, I was talking about, I guess, counter to not doing multiplayer stuff. I was talking about, like, trying to reach out to Moose and Joe um, to do some things. And so I might see if we can do, like, Astroneer as a group. Because I think that would be kind of fun and, like, low stress. I yeah, like how Adult Swim sent, sent you that uh, creepy uh, beach ball. Yup! I'm hoping it's going to be less creepy with uh, Astroneer, to be honest. Don't forget to gift for the mayor. Well, I think it's too late for today. And on if, honestly, if it's too late, period, here, let's back out. Um, let's check the calendar. Yeah, we've still got a couple of days. Let's see, I've still got a decent amount of stamina. Miss Wandercam. I do what I don't. Uh, I think Wandercam is going to be reserved largely for stuff like uh, Dead, Dead Space, where, like, my face actually matters. Because I find I actually get really stressed out having a camera on me at all times. And it's just a lot easier for me to, like, sit back and relax. If I don't have to worry about it. And I'm completely out of bait. Well, that's fine. I've got loads of money. Let's see. Yeah, ooh, Porsche. Hopefully this will help you cal calm your nerves. I mean, this is, like, the most calming game I've played in a while. I love it when developers send me goodie bags. I love it when developers reach out to me. Just in general, and are nice. I don't know. Uh, it's been happening more uh, as I get bigger as a YouTuber. And I realize that makes me sound maybe like a little spoiled, but it's, it is really pleasant uh, not having to reach out to developers as much. You know, when I was a small channel, I had to make, make sure that they knew who I was. I was trying to contact them, be like, hey, can I get a key in advance, and so on and so forth. And now I'm just like, hey, cool, I gotta... Let me, let me check my email. I bet I've got three. What is the latest press request email I've gotten? Bug Academy. Boundless. While True Learn. Oh, shoot. That came out today. Uh, I gotta do a video on that. They made a really cute cat for me. Which is adorable. And I need to, I need to do at least a video on that game. Um, stuff like that. And it's, I don't know, it's just really charming. Uh, to be in that kind of position. Okay, so we want to do another bridgehead, because we need two of them. Uh, I think I have another set of copper pipes somewhere. I think I also just decided to make a buttload of them for no good reason. I should probably stop this. Eh, it's too late. <laughs> I've got... I've got too many! The process, it cannot be stopped! Okay. Uh, let's see. So that's rock chest, wood chest. Let's dump off these for the time being. Let's see. What about Hollow Knight? Uh, that's probably gonna have to wait a couple of days. So, un unfortunately, as much as I like Hollow Knight, uh, I am so swamped for other games uh, that Hollow Knight still has a backlog, and so I've been working on that one. So. I would say probably the 18th or 19th is safe for Hollow Knight, because I think I still have one session that I haven't edited yet uh, for YouTube. I don't know if I'm going to make any more glass. I haven't needed it yet. What I need to do, actually, is play... Uh... What I d need to do is actually play Feudal Alloy. Oh, I also need to send an email. We found, uh, 
another nice looking house and it's like, well, maybe we can get this one. And that's always scary because if we actually have to move, we're going to be moving in the next like three weeks, which is super spooky. Uh, let's see, so what do we do? We can't sell anything right now. I should probably get rid of that junk. Uh, I've cleared out every tree in this area. I guess let's go over here and do some mining. That's easy. Let's see, so it looks like you have goals to work on on this. So I'm sure you could do your own thing if you wanted. Yep. I mean, right now I am very much doing my own thing. I have completely bypassed the usual money-making scheme and have just gone full, like... Uh, I, I've just gone full fisherman instead. <laughs> the neighbors are like, God, he's running the saw at midnight again. I'm calling the cops. This is the final straw. Actually, on that vein, uh, I'm sure a number of you guys remember me uh, moaning about the facility across the way being hellaciously loud. They finally got the message and fixed their machine. And so it's actually... It's actually, like, quiet here. Again. At least, when the neighbors aren't yelling at each other. They yell at each other a lot. I don't hear them as much, but Shell certainly does. Let's see. You don't do well with games where you don't have a direction at start. There's absolutely, uh, there's absolutely direction at the start. Effectively, uh, what you're supposed to be doing is, is, do, like, you're supposed to do commissions where you build stuff for people and then you, you, you know, hand it to them for reputation bonuses and money and what, whatnot. And so say somebody will be like, I need 30 planks. And you'll look at like what you need for planks and you need to build uh, a saw sawmill. And effectively you have to go get the resources to get the sawmill. You get the sawmill up, you make the guy the planks, you find your next one and they're like, I need like marble. You're like, oh, okay, where do I get marble from? And so it's this stuff. And so, yeah, there's actually a, a solid amount of, like, goals to work on. Or you can just be like, I'm gonna make a fishing rod, and I'm not going to do any of that. If I need to do a quest, I'm just buying it myself. And it works. Let's see, so what was wrong with the machine across the way? They got a new one, and effectively it was stupid loud. Like, it was louder than normal, and then it started to, like, degrade or something? Uh, we didn't talk to them. We just, uh, managed to actually speak with the, uh, the police- the local police captain, and he, more or less, was like, Yo, this is, like, violating no noise ordinances. Or uh, this is violating noise ordinances. You need to fix it, or we're gonna start, like, fining you considerably. And the people were like, oh. Yeah, that's, um... Sure. <laughs> And so that's, that's what they more or less started doing. And so they, I guess, whatever they've done, they've figured out how to fix it. Because it is no longer ridiculously loud anymore. At least on our side. There's another set of apartments that have it way worse than us, and have always had way worse than us, and they still get the full brunt of the noise, mostly. Uh, but apparently, they've never complained, so it's kind of their problem at this point? I don't know. We've done enough. And so if they want to have a, a truly quiet night's sleep, it's up to them. We should get some, uh, some more cotton. Okay, so we want to make bronze plates. Refuel. Okay, grab these. Yep, that's enough. Perfect. Hmm. See, why is Wanderer purple and blue beard, blue with a purple beard? Uh, <laughs> why not? Since when have I ever made a good-looking character in one of these games? I always make monstrosities. That is, that is like my modus operandi. Like, I have to make something strange and uncomfortable looking. Because if I don't, it just feels wrong. Okay, so bronze plates, bronze plates, and stone bricks. A lot of stone bricks. Luckily, I've been making stone bricks forever. So we have more than enough of those. Yeah, the last time I played this, I only made as much as I needed. And it was honestly kind of an exercise in... Not pain, but it sucked. 
This time around, I'm just like, hey, here's a resource I don't have any of. Let's make a stupid amount of it, because that's what I do. Character creation is maybe the best part of any series for me. I, so, I, I've talked about this before, but honestly, uh, sometime within the next year, I'm gonna do a day where I download a bunch of MMOs and games with, like, really heavy character creation and effectively do my own Monster Factory series. Because I'd love to do mon- like, I- I like- I, I love me some, uh, Mbim Bam, and I love Monster Factory, but I feel like I could make some extra super monsters, uh, way- way more often than them. I don't know, I watch every episode, and there, ha there haven't been as many lately, because they went indie. Okay, let's- let's go in here. Oh, no, 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 let's go up to the, uh, other one? Okay, we can go up here. Or is this the wrong one? No, this is the wrong one. I want to go this way. I want to see if I can get into the uh, this facility up here. Yeah, Dark Souls has always been my pride and joy. You are correct on that one. Like, that is, that has always had my most horrifying of creatures. So this is the elevator. No. I, can I do this? Mm. Do I need to get in abandoned runes too? Can't get in. Oh, completing the bridge. Okay, so we'll we'll work on the bridge. That's probably what we need to do for some of these things. So what do we have in my inventory? Oh, you know what? I can give the mayor a scarf. Or maybe I should check this. Does anybody know? Day of the Bright Sun. Let's look this up. Is there something... Is there a special benefit? It doesn't look like, um... It doesn't look like it, it cares at all what you give them as long as you as long as you give a gift that's all you need to do that's good okay so give gift ah another uninspired gift <laughs> it's got some use i suppose i'm sure the celebrations for the day of the bright sun are a bit different in barnara here, the Wait, one second. Okay, hold on. What time is it? Day just started. We haven't done Jack Doodle. Let's let's start this day over. Gift him a caterpillar. No. I'm gonna give him something impressive. Cause yeah, we only just did building management in the morning. Which really isn't that impressive or useful or interesting. So we're just going to gift him something else. Oh, I don't even necessarily know what. Grab that. Grab that. Got to make those bronze plates. Do we seriously only have seven bronze bars? Dang. Okay, I guess we've got a little bit more. I don't even feel like I've been burning through my bronze that fast. I guess it just... ...builds really slowly. Let's see, so what is the impressive thing that I'm going to give... I'm not actually sure. I don't know what I'm gonna give. I could give one of my, uh... 
I could give him one of my like fancy fish. Like I've got I've got a spare Emperor Gladiator fish. Or Goliath. Let's give him a Goliath. Give him a bridge. <laughs> I gave that mayor, mayor a bridge. Mayors love bridges. I mean, that'd be that'd be funny. I guess we can check that real quick. Gifting. Oh, we've got straight up topaz. That's an easy one. What's the what's at the top? Roses. Otherwise topaz. And I have a lot of topaz. And it will have a lot of topaz forever. Let's just let's just give a topaz. I guess let's sort all first. Then take the topaz. There we go. I was gonna give the scarf because I thought it was cute, but no, if I can do this to farm extra bonus r resolution with things. Let's see. He always turned up his nose at whatever I gave him, even if it was a starred fish. Let's see if I give him a topaz. What do you think? Not bad. Looks like you put some thought into it. I'm sure the celebrations for the Day of the Bright Sun are a bit different in Barnabas. Here, the airship tradition has been going on for almost 40 years. I think it started when someone uh, jumped on the peach statue and started throwing cranberry candy at everyone. There we go. Yeah, give him a gem. All right, so we're done with that. So what else we got? Work on the bridge. We're working on that. Uh, character. Oh, right. We leveled up. Let's grab that one, seeing as I'm doing a bunch of fishing. Inventory is good. I'm assuming the market is still bad. Yeah, market price is... iffy. Good day for buying things. I do know something I could buy. Uh, let's see, total tools? No. We can learn how to make the umbrella. No, that's not even that helpful. He's already taught us that. Clothing store. Oh, wait, we can straight up make these, can't we? Yeah, it just requires fiber cloth, which we have. And can buy. Yeah, it's way cheaper to make it myself. So why don't we... Wander aimlessly? Main thing is we're just waiting for stuff. We'll be ready by the next day. I could go into the... The cheaper, smaller mine, but we're gonna want to go to the bigger mine as soon as we turn in the bridge. So I guess let's go on an axing spree. And then maybe go fight some things. Never hurts to have spare... <coughs> oh. Never hurts to sneeze. Well, yes it does. It absolutely hurts to sneeze. I don't know. I sometimes I get really, really bad sneezes and they just... Yep, there it goes. Oh, uh, head started hurting real bad. I don't know. Something about sneezing just is awful for me. I've never liked it. Not like farting. As as gross as it is, farting is generally pretty comfortable. You're like, yep, I feel better after that. Sneezing is like, I wish I hadn't done that. As confusing as when you do both at the same time. 
I wasn't wondering gonna switch. Uh, I was, I wanted to get that bridge done. Uh, but I should probably switch at some point. But yeah, shook your brain. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, there's actually a period of time when I was moving. We were moving out of, um... Uh, we are moving out of our apartment in New York, and I was moving back with my parents. Unfortunately, I'm rather allergic to my parents' house, so it wasn't very appreciated for multiple reasons. Um... But, so... My arms were tired, because I'd been carrying heavy stuff every day for, like, a week straight. When we drove across country, got to my parents' place, and I immediately start sneezing violently left and right. Uh... Which sucked, because... I pretty much, like, every time I sneezed, my, like, pecs and whatever would seize up. And... Like, effectively imagine giving yourself a dead arm with both arms every single time you sneezed. Like, that's... that's what I was dealing with. It was... not... fun. I should remember to kick a bunch of trees. We're gonna need some of these things as we go along. Admittedly, I think this is a, mostly going to give me rubber fruit and stuff. I'm not really sure if I need rubber fruit. But it's a good idea to have a bunch anyway. Yeah, so I will I will switch at some point as. But uh, the problem is I got hooked on this. I don't know. I really do actually like my time at Porsche. It's a fun game. And it's been, like, bugging me that I haven't been able to... Uh, play it. Because I, every once in a while, I'll be watching, uh, Price playing it. Because he he was playing it, I think, a month or two ago. And I was like, oh man, I want to play more Porsche. And then it's like, nah, I should wait. You know, they're gonna hit 1.0 at some point. So, so far, what's the best game of 2019? That's a very thin list. Probably Double Cross? Uh, but that's only because, like, as far as... So, I'm not gonna say Porsche counts, because it's been out for ages. So, I'm just gonna disqualify it as a game that effectively has had a ton of development time. Um... I... Feudal Alloy is okay. Meeple Station looks fun, that's what we'll be doing next after this. You're kicking the tree in order to make it drop its stuff. You are a lumber mugger. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that a lot. But no, ask me again in a month, and I'll actually have a good answer. Unfortunately, we're just too early in... in the year. Wow. I do a lot of damage now. The fishing in the game seems to change at every other update. I mean, it is very difficult to actually balance a good fishing system in any game, so I kind of understand. Oh. For a second I thought she has a straight-up knife. Wait, can I just stunlock her? I can. Okay. Yeah, if you kill too many uh, ladybugs, Mrs. Ladybug rolls out, and she is... she is not messing around. That's fine. Yeah, let's just run around being a lumber, lumber mugger for the day. It doesn't hurt to have extra resources. Even if I have no immediate use for any of these, at some point, uh... At some point, we will need these things. And it'll be really helpful to have, uh... run around grabbing them. Same thing with a poop. Gross. But it needs doing. Yeah, I can pretty much just two shot these guys. Sup, Oaks? Spar! I do need some new equipment at some point, though. Whoa! I 
I didn't realize. I didn't realize he was uh, super high level. Well, oh well. Seven gold. That, that guy's a little bit uh, tougher. Oh, hello. Cotton llama, you say. That is one hell of a thing. Look at it. Ow. What? That was weird. I like lag warped over to the other guy. All right, whatever. It's dead. Cool, so like bonus enemies show up when you've murdered all of their kin. Oh, my inventory is full. Uh, easy peasy, let's just go kick this tree and sell them out of energy. Okay, so we can finally get that bridge done, which is good. And then maybe at some point we'll start looking into commissions. I just haven't bothered because I've had enough money from, well, well, no, I guess I haven't. I have a lot of potential money wrapped up in fish. Like, there will come a day where I'll sell all that fish and be able to expand the farm like crazy. Tree kicker. Chicken kicker! Oh man, I miss the Fable games. I really, really wish they hadn't, like, crumbled. Not crumbled, but like, I don't know. I, I'm a little disappointed that Microsoft uh, shut down Lionhead. Because, like, the new Fable game actually looked like it was really fun. Like, I played some of it. I should have recorded it just for the sake of, not propriety, but... We are out of copper ore. All right. Let's see. But yeah, I was in the uh, super secret closed beta of the game, and it was actually really good. Shame. More feathers. Uh, let's see. So what else do we do? Schmutz. Yeah, we could probably drop these off for a while. We'll sell them eventually. So what's the uh, 600 gold to unlock a row of my inventory? We might as well. Oh god. You can have a lot of inventory space in this game. I didn't even... I had no idea. Let's see, that reminds me, have you triggered the Cuckoo Storm in Link to the Past yet? No, actually I was thinking, uh, if you guys remind me at the end of Link to the Past, like, once we've beat it, more or less, uh... We should just see how long I can survive while the Cuckoo Storm is, uh, coming after me. Okay, Meeple Station time? I wanted to get that bridge done. But yeah, yeah, we should, we should switch. We, uh, we've got it done, I've got all the things. It's just a matter of uh, setting it up, probably tomorrow.